Alright guys, uh, name unknown 69 here, and today we are back in The Walking Dead. Holy shit, that episode, the last two episodes are fucking, oh my god, it's unbelievable. Let's see what's going on. Talk to Have you seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. mm, I never knew that. <laughs> sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. Let's see what's outside. <laughs> I'm a curious motherfucker. Am I? Or am I not? Jesus. Yeah. Holy shit. Think of it. They just eat. As far as I can tell, they're not here. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? They died. I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Oh, wow. Too bad we don't have a way to come out here and watch the news. Would be nice to know what's going on elsewhere. Atlanta's in rough shape, that's all I know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. No! What the fuck? Hey, man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. What the fuck am I doing? I can't reach that brick. Any idea where the pharmacy keys might be? We searched high and low inside before you guys got here. They weren't on the old couple who took out the office. Oh, that's my parents. Okay? That's our parents. I'm fine. If the keys aren't in the drugstore, think they could be out here? We now live in a world where getting up and walking and actual possibilities. Right. Uh, is there anything around? Can I, like, get out of here? How'd you end up here? I moved here to live with my uncle. He just took stuff and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time. On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. Mm -hmm. What about you? I know some folks here. Seem like as good a place as any. Oh, friends? Family? They around? Family, but it doesn't seem like it. Oh, let's go inside. Let's head back inside. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> my parents are dead. <laughs> my parents are dead. Oh, there goes my parents. Oh shit. What the fuck am I doing? No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. Oh. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. I don't remember them very well. Hmm. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. Hey, Lee. Really gave that old man hell. Yeah. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. 
Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. No problem. Thank you, Lee. Are you guys all right? We're just fine, considering. How about you, Doc? We've all been through a lot. Oh, Doc. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? They, uh, own this place. They're gone. Oh, oh sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but yeah, they're dead. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? Well, her family's dead, so... That's awful, Lee. Yeah, well... She seems to be handling herself all right. She's just a little girl, Ken. Lee says she spent days on her own. That takes toughness. But you have no idea what sort of emotional damage is happening to her every second her family is gone. She don't know. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? Happened pretty fast. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves. Over we him. killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice that killed Sean. True. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Rest in peace. Try to let it go. They, they, they look pretty good, but fucked up. Taking the energy bar. Let's see what's around. What's in there? Try to get some rest, hon. How can it's I with those now. things out there? Alive inside. <laughs> Parents? Mom? Dad? I can't. I can't think about them in here. This door leads to the back alley. Give me the first aid. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Let's get the fuck out. Oh, never mind. I'm gonna shed tears. The fuck was that? Find anything? It's a photo of the family who owned this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. 
Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were or that you were tied to this place? No, I've been sticking to first names for a reason. Yep. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Thank you. Don't worry about it. I earn friends. I have friends. Let's see what's here. His dad came. What's that? This is my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you would have. My dad gave it to me. See, dad's just smart like that. Mm-hmm. But Clementine, talk to her. Everyone out there seem all right to you? Yeah, well... Maybe not the sick guy. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on him. And there was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for him. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. Have you heard from Glenn? Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Talk with me. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. She sounded like a Lee? Woman. Yeah. You're not bad, right? I. Uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? I gotta tell her the oh. truth. Was he bad? He was. I had to tell her the truth. I trust my girl. My lovely girl. Uh. <laughs> look at Larry. <laughs> it's not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's, uh, really sweet. Don't mention it. Alright, guys. So, yeah. 